So we are at Roy's Motel. I don't know what else is out here, but we're gonna go investigate some things. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Say bye, Grace. Bye, Grace. Bye, everybody. Hey everybody, uh, we just left over there at Roy's and uh, there's a road right here, that's the Route 66. Now they're turning us to Kelso, which I guess is 35 miles that way. Um, this is pretty interesting over here. All the way down this road from way back there, I didn't have a place to pull over until now. This, um, this portion of Route 66, uh, they're closing I guess. And it says it won't be open until mid uh, summer or mid 2018. So this year, uh, there was a sign up at the cafe that I was I was reading. But this is kind of neat. People went out and got rocks and uh, put their initials. Those people painted their rocks. That's pretty cool. Other people just wrote something. I don't know. I can't see some of it. A lot of it's just their. Uh, a lot of it's just their. Uh, initials I guess there's maybe a name right there I can't really tell looks like a J U something yeah I thought you'd be interested in that that's pretty cool we're gonna try to go down this road it says it's closed but we'll just drive really slow um, I'm not going that far and uh, we flew the uh, drone just a little bit here uh, to get the route 66 sign so we'll show you that in just a minute but uh, we're gonna go down a little further and uh, see some different views of that valley, maybe over that way. So we'll be back. Say goodbye.
Now we just drove probably a mile and a half over a couple bridges that we probably shouldn't have been over because it said that the bridges were bad on the side we saw, but they were okay. Uh, we're on a closed road we're on Route 66, the old Route 66. I'm just looking around. Uh, gives you a different vantage point of this valley, which is massive. Um, on the other side of those hills over there is the marine base that we talk about. So right now we're on the north end of the marine base, in Am just a little bit outside of Amboy. And uh, you can see down there it's the flats, and that's a, that's a lake bed, dry lake bed, but there's all sorts of salt in that dry lake bed. All this property, all this land at one time was underwater. I mean, if you dig down deep enough, you can start seeing fossils. Dion's going to get rocks for our garden, and she's picking up little pieces of rocks, but we got some nice big rocks right here on the side. Well, we don't want real big, big ones. Well, we don't want real little ones, because then, then, right? Okay. Well, big ones have pretty colors, too, when they're washed off. All right. This is her little thing she's been doing is picking rocks up. So everywhere we go, and then she wants to put it at the uh, RV park near our campsite. It's all sparkly. Is it? Camera can't see that because we've tried that before. But hear the train? Mm -hmm. Oh, look, there's a train way down there. Yep. So the train comes right through the central part of the the valley. So you're standing there and thinking, well, let's get close. Well, we did. It's as close as we can get. But what we were seeing, I believe it's granite. And it looks like there's some pretty, pretty slabs of this stuff up there that they're mining. Um, I'd like to be up here when they explode that mountain and get some of it down or however they do it. That's kind of neat. Um, real pretty up here. A lot of cars. It is uh, President's Day Monday, so there's a lot of people up here, which wouldn't normally be here. Yeah, this is the road that takes you to Vegas from where we live, so it takes you through Amboy and out that way. I, I guess Needles, Calso. That's right. That's what Needles the next town. Ways. Needles is it that way. Anyways, uh, yeah. So we we just didn't know what the hell that thing was, and we decided to come over here and check it out. Right. This is awesome. Yeah, it's pretty anyways, huh? Would you like to take those big rocks home and put them in your garden, baby? Oh, yeah. Watch out for snakes and stuff. I am. That is really pretty. It's a crack there. That's cool. It's real cool. Somebody left a pencil there. Oh, we can see those little crystals in there. Really pretty. Looks like it's mm. glass, but it's it's not really, really pretty stuff. So I guess that's what they're mining up there. And they brought these boulders down from the front of their property and dug a ditch around so you can't get through. That's pretty cool. But yeah, that's pretty neat. Cool. Dude. Yeah, you can see way up above the piece of equipment, the little arm of it. it probably has one of those bars that go down and go da 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 da. Yeah dynamite in it. Boom. Yep. A whole part breaks it loose. Yeah, that's pretty. Nice rocks. Yep. See? Just got to go off the beaten track. And, and look what a view this is. It's awesome. You can see them coming down from Vegas. You can 
Yes. Dion and I were just coming down the road uh, from where that mine was, that you could see actually up there. We went all the way around, came, came back from the other direction, came around this way, but the mine's over up there. I did want to show you that, but as we were driving, we kind of passed it and actually came all the way back. Here's something that's kind of interesting. This is uh, actually on Route 66. Um, I don't know it's because of somebody died. There's an American flag there. And somebody lived out here and I think he's buried out here. There's a hat for him. Pretty cool. Maybe his friends came out. Could have been a vet. Yeah. Of Asian descent, maybe. And... But as we passed by this one, we pulled off to the side of the road. There's a, a little book right there. A binder. I wonder if this is a geocache. No, it's not a geocache. But what it is, is probably somebody's gravesite. A lot of neat stuff on this. Look, there's the Eiffel Tower. Here's a shot glass. <laughs> there's a flashlight to find your way. Oh, some kids' toys. What's this? Far East Mojave Mystery. Whose story? This is Food Dog. Food Dog are part lion, part dog. They are known for protecting its land and its people. Beauty surrounds beauty. Keep looking at it and you'll see. Had to stop. Feel a positive in love. Don't look back. You're not going anywhere. This desert is awfully beautiful, wouldn't you say? There's not much to look at, but I find myself constantly looking. Hey, and I found something. Never stop looking. Oh, these are comments people left. How cool is that? And they printed them out and brought them here and put them in this binder. Cool! Yeah. No real names. First time seeing Lion, and for the first time in months, the smile on my face. Real, thank you. Safe travels. That's what it is for everybody. Safe travels, then. And you want to know something? Uh, I don't know if you can see this far, but all the way down that way, um, there's another one. And we're going to stop and we'll go with that one too. But this is uh, pretty darn awesome for safe travels. And those are letters from people Comments that. Comments people made and left. Yeah, and left them. I mean, they actually took time after they passed by them several times and maybe came out here and looked at it and, and wondered what it was, maybe looked it up online. Then they wrote letters and came back after they printed them out and put them in the book. That's cool. That is cool. That's real cool. What's this say? Russia family. Hmm. Russia. What's it band out of? Thing to leave? Yeah. What? A rusty fan. Okay. <laughs> Since you won't let me put it in the yard. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> a little something for safe travel. Somebody needs a fan blade, we've got one for them. Well, I'm 
I wouldn't put it there. Let's, let's stack some rocks and put that on the top of it. Only made it a few miles, so I think that's good, huh? Okay, well, let's go down and see the other one, okay? Say bye, Grace. Bye, Grace. We are uh, going across. Oh, look at this. Somebody has actually put a bunch of the uh, rocks in straight. Those are the bikes. Okay. So, somebody's selling the property, I guess. Watch for snakes and stuff. This is pretty out here, huh? What are you doing? Don't put your telephone number or address. Look at this one. The clown's head is off. Somebody had a draw on it. is made out of marble, isn't it? You think that's what they're getting up there is marble? I wonder, wonder what somebody put on that. Alcohol or something? A beer? Cocktail or something? Some mystical syrupy looking stuff. Yeah. Well, that's pretty neat. And then somebody um, took a bunch of rocks, like we saw up there, and they did this. All the way through the plant, all the way to the two signs, and I guess they're going to sell this or something. It's for sale. It is the for land, sale. But... Yeah. What's that again? It's called Lion Dog. Lion Dog. Lion Dog near Amboy. <laughs> right? Yeah. I, I don't know if it's anybody's past, ever seen this or not. Amboy right? before you get to the turn off Right, the right, right, right. Well, Amboy is just right down there. Yeah. Amboy is right there. Crater, the crater's over there. We came from over that direction over there, where the other one is. So, somebody had to put these out here in the desert. I don't know how long ago they'd put them out here, but, but they're pretty cool. Good. Yeah, I mean, they've got cinder blocks for bases. They spent some thought about that set things heavy, how they got it out here. I don't know. Well, they probably took a crane somehow. Flatbed truck. Yeah. You can see it's really nice and, and hard packed over here. You can bring a car sitting up there. Probably you can get in from over there. Yeah. We just parked across the street. Across the street. That's what we did. All right, so um, I guess we're going to go back to the house or start going that way. And uh, see what else we can get into maybe on the way home. It's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. This is when we usually start our day, so we've got a lot in today anyways. Whoa. Rocks are slippery. All right, guys. Uh, we stopped again on the way home. Not too much further. Just right outside of uh, Amboy, this uh, little town where Roy's is. Uh, we're heading back home. But this is one of the salt. Uh, I don't know what it is. Salt ponds. 
I believe they fill these up with water and then drain off the water. I'm not real sure, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, Dion's way down here. Um, on the other side of this pile of dirt, you can see it looks like snow. It's not. All it is is just all it is is just uh, salt. So yeah. Well, that's pretty. Oh, awesome. Mm hmm. Let me see the salt. I know. It's like brine. Doesn't it? Is it hard? It's hard. Hmm. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Yeah, a little bit of it. Taste it. Salt. <laughs> so this is what this is what Dion just chipped off a little piece of of it from over there. Very hard crystals, but uh, you can see it's pretty cool. I bet you this is what they're using up north on the roads. Could be. They grind it up. It's got sand already in it. Probably. That could be too. That's pretty, huh? That's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. But you know, in back of that right there, there's another one and it's longer. I know. Probably goes the whole length of the road all the way down to this way, all the way down here. So, yeah, this is pretty damn cool. This is all private property. But you see how the crystals are appearing as the water evaporate, evaporates, evaporates. Uh -huh. and I like the pretty color. Look, there's even some logs down there. Yeah. Hey everybody, it's the end of the day. We had a good day. I hope you did too with us. Uh, we'll see, what did we do? We took off, we went over, and we saw the crater. We were gonna go, but there was a million people over there, so that's gonna be a trip for another, another time. time. Yeah, because we, we couldn't do it today. It would take up the whole day. Uh, we went and saw Roy's and diner and uh, gas station or whatever it was. Off of Route 66. Yeah. Right off of Route 66. Then we drove down and we also saw the um, sodium chloride mining, however they do that. And then we went and flew the drone. drone a couple times and then saw the quarry and did all that. So I hope you had a good time. Uh, we want you to uh, come back and see us again. Uh, please subscribe, like, and share. It helps us grow our channel. And uh, Dion and I really appreciate those who have uh, supported us since we started. Our goal is to get a thousand people. We're way low <laughs> short for that. But I think we're going to keep building up and building up and building up yep. with uh, more friends out there. So, uh, okay, YouTube, you guys be good, uh, be safe, and come back and see us next time, okay? Thank you. Bye. Bye.